Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. In this video, we are going to discuss 3.5 pretty palindromic patterns that's given on page number 61. Now, what are palindromic patterns? You must have heard these words, ma'am, M-A-M, ma'am, I, did, mom, dad, noon. So, what are the patterns here? If you observe carefully, you would see that if you read it from left to right, that is ma'am, or right to left, M-A-M, ma'am, is the same word, E-Y-E-I, E-Y-E-I. So, all these words, if you read from left to right or right to left, they would be the same word. And such words are called palindromes. Similarly, in mathematics, we have numbers which are palindromes. So, the definition is, the numbers that read the same from left to right and from right to left are called palindromes or palindromic numbers. For example, 66. If you read it from left, it's 66. Right, 66. 66. 848. And if you read it backwards, it will be again 848. So, the same number. So, such number are called palindromes. Now, we are going to make all palindromes using these three digits. 1, 2 and 3. We need to make three digit numbers using these digits and let us see how many palindromes we can make. Let us start with digit 1. So, we will keep 1 and even the last digit is 1 because it has to read the same from left to right. So, we will keep these two digits same and here we will fill up 1. So, one of the number would be 111. Then we can say 121, 131. Okay. Now, I will take digit 2. Fixed these places. Now, 212, 222, 232. Now, 3. Keep these places fixed. 313, 323, 333. So, these are the 9 3 digit palindromes that we can form using the digits 1, 2 and 3. The next part is reverse and add palindromes. So, here we need to start with the 2 digit number. Add this number to its reverse. Stop if you get a palindrome. Else, repeat the steps of reversing the digits and adding. Let us understand this using examples. So, we start with the two digit number. This is a two digit number. Now, add this number to its reverse. Reverse would be 43. And stop if you get a palindrome. So, when we add 34 and 43, 4 plus 3 is 7, 3 plus 4 is 7. See, we are getting a palindrome. Now, 29, 92, okay? 9 plus 2, 11. 9 plus 2, 11, 12, 121. So, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1. Again, a palindrome, 48. So, the reverse would be 84. Add it up, 8 plus 4, 12, 8 plus 4, 12, 13. So, 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1. We are getting different numbers. So, what we need to do is take the reverse of this number, this sum. So, that will be 2, 3, 1. 2, 3, 1. So, this is the third step. We need to stop if you get a palindrome. Else, repeat the steps of reversing the digits and adding. So, we are repeating the step. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 3, 6. 1 plus 2, 3. 363, 363. So, that's a palindrome. 76 will become 67 the reverse add 6 plus 7 is 13 1 carry over 143 now this is not a palindrome so we need to repeat the step add 3 4 1 3 4 1 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 4 8 1 plus 3 4 so we are getting a palindrome so let us take our own example 63 Reverse number would be 36. 3 plus 6, 9. 6 plus 3, 9. Again, a palindrome. So, we have seen in all these examples that when we take a two-digit number 
added to its reverse, we get a palindrome. Now there are numbers for which you need to repeat this step a very large number of times to get the palindrome. Let us answer a few questions given in this subtopic. Are there numbers for which you do not reach a palindrome at all? The answer is yes. There are numbers for which we do not reach a palindrome at all. And one famous example is number 196. 196 is a number wherein the mathematicians, they repeated the step a lot many times. Still, they did not get a palindrome. So this is an example of a number for which we do not reach a palindrome at all. Explore. Will reversing and adding numbers repeatedly, starting with a two-digit number, always give a palindrome? Explore and find out. So this is just an extension of this question here. They are just asking you to explore and find out. And there is a star mark here, which means that the answer is given at the bottom of the textbook. And the answer for this is yes. Reversing and adding number repeatedly starting with the two digit number always gives a palindrome. However, the exception is a three digit number which is 196. Let me read the answer for you. The answer is yes. For three digit numbers, the answer is unknown. It is suspected that starting with 196 never yields a palindrome. Never yields means never gives a palindrome. So you can just read it out. And we will explore using these numbers here. 19 reverse is 91. 9 plus 1, 10. 9 plus 1, 10, 11. We do not get a palindrome. So we need to reverse this and add. So this will become 0, 1, 1. Add it up. And we would get 1, 2, 1. Answer is 1, 2, 1 which is a palindrome. Next number is 23, 32. I have taken my own numbers. You can take your own examples. 3 plus 2, 5. 2 plus 3, 5. That's a palindrome. 36, reverse number 63, 9, 9. Palindrome. 45, 54, 9, 9. Palindrome. 51 will become 15 when we reverse it. 5 plus 1, 6. 5 plus 1, 6. 64 plus 46. 10, 1, 10, 11. Reverse because this is not a palindrome. So 0, 1, 1 will become 1, 2, 1. That's a palindrome. 89, you try yourself. However, it will take a lot of time because this number 89 and 98. To get a palindrome for this using this method that is reversing and adding, you need to do it 24 times. When you do it 24 times, then you will get the palindrome for these numbers, 89 and 98. You may just try it out. The last part of this subtopic is puzzle time. There is a puzzle given and we need to figure out the number. I am a 5 digit palindrome. So these are the places where we need to fill the digits and it is a 5 digit number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I am an odd number. Odd number means like 1, 2, sorry, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Okay, so if you have these digits at the end, that is in the units place, we call it an odd number, right? So I am an odd number, which means this place here, let me tell you what U stands for. U stands for units place, T for tens, H for hundreds, TH for thousands, and TTH for ten thousands place. Okay, so units place, we need to fill an odd number. Okay. Next, my T digit is double of my U digit. So, this is the T digit and this is the U digit. So, they are saying this digit is double of U. Okay, double of U. And my H digit is double of my T digit. H digit is double of T digit. Okay, the question is who am I? What is the number that we need to find out? So, let us take the first odd number which is 1. We will put 1 in units place and T digit is double of U. So T is double means double of 1 is 2. H digit is double of my T digit. So double of 2 would be 4. So 1 double of 1 is 2, double of 2 is 4. Okay and now can we form a palindrome? Yes we can. If I write 1 here and 2 here. 1 
2, 4, 2, 1. If I read from left to right in the backwards direction, 1, 2, 4, 2, 1. I get the same number. So this is the answer for this puzzle. We can try next digit 3 if we get any more numbers. If I put 3 here, 3, double of 3, 6, double of 6, 12. That will not work. So the only odd number that we can use is 1 here. Okay. And now we need to write this number in words. So this is thousands place. So that's 12,000, 12,421, 12,421. So this was the last part of this subtopic. Hope you find this helpful. Thank you.